Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel. In this video I'm about to watch, that's a video where they expose Wiki and Dukuba Asari and I keep on asking, who is Dukuba Asari? Who is he working for? Because Dukuba Asari, as you owner, he is a man that is not one place. He's here and he's here at the same time. Because I remember when he came out and said that if Tinibu did not, do, doesn't do well, we should hold him accountable. Now again, he's coming to say that um, the government is the worst government in the history of Nigeria. And again, it's back again to support. I don't know, it's just confused. But I like guys to hear what this man said. Because this man really dealt with Tukuba Asari and Wiki, how we expose every single detail about them. Let me let you guys watch that video and then I'll be to you guys shortly. If you're new here, please subscribe. See you guys. Tinubu believes he's smart, but he has played a game that is not going to favor him, that is not going to favor the Yoruba nation. Let me explain. Tinubu knew that the only way he can win is by getting the votes of the Muslim not. But he is a Muslim and he cannot pick a Christian. And picking a Muslim will, will change the narrative of Nigeria being a secular state or the, 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 the narrative that Christians and Muslims are one. And uh, in leadership, Christians and, Niger and Muslims must come together. But he had to make it work by any means possible. The Muslim Muslim ticket. He had to make it work. He has to make it work by any means possible. And how did he do that? By recruiting fake pastors, by making sure the judiciary is bought, by making sure that and and he got in. Now the North, who also have their own agenda of Islamizing Nigeria, felt the Muslim Muslim ticket is an opportunity to finally force down that islamic agenda on everybody unfortunately for them that is tinubu tinubu does not give a hoot about islam muslim the niger becoming an islamic state tinubu doesn't care about that what tinubu cares is the yoruba people to be established just like his predecessor Buhari. that is why today you see our judiciary uh, our, our judiciary should be named uh yoruba judiciary Trust me, please, when you are listening to me, I have no misgivings against any tribe. I have no bias against any tribe. But I say these things the way I feel. Now, I may be wrong. Please feel free to correct me if you honestly believe I am wrong. Feel free to correct me. I stand corrected. But our judiciary today is Yorubanized. Our Ministry of Finance is Yorubanized. EFCC is Yorubanized. Correction services is urbanized. I am sure. I am sure that before next election, uh, INEC will be urbanized, and we cannot continue like this. So when Asar Dokubo is complaining that his jaws are left out, what the hell were you thinking? You think Tinubu gives a damn about the jaws or about the Ibos, about anybody, even about the Fulanis? You think Tinubu gives a damn? Tinubu wants to ensure that by the time he leaves, is Yoruba Ochins are well placed just as Buari thought look one thing Buari achieved he made sure that every dick and harry made money during his tenure look some recalcitrant that had no skills made billions of naira now do you know the risk to a country when you allow people who don't know the value of money make excess money they end up not utilizing money that money to create value so we have money created without a corresponding value, which is what has led to the high value, high level inflation that we have today. So whether you like it or not, this is what has happened. Now, I heard that Asari Dokubo said that they were aligned with the North. I laugh. <laughs> I laugh. First and foremost, Asar Dugubo, you don't know the North at all. You think the North give a damn about you? Do you think the North give a damn about you? The North is only interested in using people that will better the interests of the North, even if it means sacrificing you for the interests of the North. The holy grail of the North is North. The only, the only thing that is, 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 is see, 
the problem with uh, wisdom peters the only the problem with us is that if you talk about Igbos, the Igbos will say you are being biased. If you talk about Yorubas, we say you are being biased. If you talk about this, you are being biased. Now, I try as much as possible not, be, not to be generic. Because there are some fantastic Yoruba people, fantastic Igbo people, fantastic Fulani people. But these things I'm talking about are things that happen. Did Buhari not come and made his government about the Fulanis? Absolutely yes. Did is Tinubu not making his government about Yorubas? Of course it's yes. So where am I being sensitive here? Absolutely not. So you might choose. Everybody has the way they react. Everybody has the way they absorb truth. Some might absorb truth. Say, oh God, now wow, this thing is painful, but you are saying the truth. Some might absorb truth and feel bad that you insulted the Yoruba people. Or you insulted the Igbo people. Hmm? So, Asari Dokubo, to me, it's an, it's an unconscious servant of the north because everything we have at, we've tried to achieve to safeguard the interests of the south asari dokubo has played a significant role, a role in thwarting it the man behind the lower niger congress i spoke with him and he will start giving you book to read book almost ah give you book 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 book, book to read so i said look the problem of Nigeria is not, not all this plenty right up. The problems of Nigeria is not an e academic exercise. Tony Namdiya. The problem of Nigeria is not an academic exercise. It's not an opportunity to express your grandiloquence. It's not an opportunity to string it too many vocabularies. The problem of Nigeria is simple. The problem of Nigeria is such that we came into a country where we didn't evolve a national culture. Rather, we evolve a tribal identity. The Yorubas believe that they are Yorubas living in Nigeria. As a matter of fact, the only people that have tried somewhat to cut out of this are the Igbos, who don't mind anywhere they go and stay. If it's Fulani, they want to stay. If it's Yoruba, they will stay. If it's anywhere they go, they stay. To a, to a large extent, I will rate them first in the level of national consciousness. Because my problem with Tony Namdi is that you can't know everything. You can't know everything. And you can't force people to believe in your narrative. You can't, you can't, you can't know everything at all. Well, he claims he knows everything. He writes this book, write this book, write that book, write that. You start seeing, the very first day I met him, started sending me book, sending me this, sending me this, some 30 something page, 50 page, 70 page. I said, which time I won't get tired for Nigeria problem. Now I read all this thing put. Meanwhile, they stay inside the problem. You want to tell me about the problem? I, I live inside the problem. It's just this tribalism. Uh, Rabbi Musa Konkwaso said he cannot be under Peter B because Peter B is an Igbo man. Peter B, uh, I think was the same thing. If we can find a way to create a national consciousness, a national culture where we are more Nigerian than the tribal affinity we belong, our problem is solved. If we can have a national consciousness, just like America, I am an American. God bless America. I am a Nigerian. God bless Nigeria. That's all. All this Yoruba Lokon, Yoruba Ton, Igbo Ton, Hausa Ton, this one Ton, it further exacerbates the tribal division that has continuously maligned our consciousness to make Nigeria grow. No matter how I speak, no matter how convinced I am, I am that my thought processes are better. I still have a space in my head that I allow people to correct me, and I keep an open mind to accept this correction if indeed they are corrections. Trust me, if they give me Nigeria to handle, I will fix it in two days. Because I will tell you the truth. The houses you are seeing today, they are very, very easy people. Very, very simple people. 
they are like people scared they know they are poor they know they don't match up in in, in many things in nigeria so the only thing they have is this is this bluff that if you don't do this we are going to do this we have to uh what's this uh quota system and all these things just to so they, but, but but there are people who can see i will find it easier to discuss political relevance with a northerner than to discuss political relevance with a yoruba by god the most difficult people to tell the truth to you see you see all this yoruba i have this hatred for Igbos. ah no 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 no. those ones forget about it i saw it when i was in when i was in ilorin and ibadon it, it was just too too clear it was just too much it, so finally finally the day we will get a leader that is detribalized the first leader we had that was detribalized nigerians were not used to him Nigerians were not, were not used nigerians were not used to him and therefore we wasted him we wasted the opportunity and that person was jonathan jonathan didn't rule as an german he didn't rule as an Igboman, yoruba man in fact he did things that even his own people were angry with that he had power and couldn't use the power for his selfish people to benefit his own people rather he was building at manjiri school for the houses but he too didn't know that no matter how much you do for the north so long as you are not a muslim zero well thank god a panacea is is i think is, is recoiling people's brain and that's hunger hunger they reset everybody brain at least hunger has no religion hunger has no tribe the same way a house man will feel hunger in the same way and Roma will feel hunger the same way a christian feels hunger in the same way a muslim feels hunger so all of us they hear them so as san dokubo if you can hear me, I will beg you the way Tinubu, I will speak to you the way Tinubu spoke. So anytime they ask you uh, what can we do, say, shut up your mouth. I will strongly advise Asad Asad Dubu to shut up your mouth because each time you speak, you expose your delusion, your lack of educational foresight, your your uh the vision of rascality and uh, political ignorance it's one thing to be an a, a militant doesn't necessarily mean that you can you know string rational thoughts towards bringing solution that appeals to everybody nigeria is not about the job people nigeria is way bigger than Ijo. nigeria is so too big for you and your Ijo agenda so if they give you Nigeria today, I clearly know what you do. That means you to empower Ijo people. You are, you, you are going to use it to empower all Ijo people. So I really advise that you just keep quiet. True. You keep quiet. Please keep quiet. You speak too much and you talk too much. We have done the mistake of bringing Tinubu in. I think what you should be doing now, if I'm going to advise you as Kubo, your hatred for Igbo, she stop now. If you have a problem with Inam Dikanu, Inam Dikanu does not represent the entire Igbo. Inam Dikanu is not Igbo language. Yes, you might have your difference with Inam Dikanu. Hate him all you want, I don't care. It's natural. Dislike him all you want, I don't like. But please, your attack on an entire tribe is not, it's not good. I have met some very sound Igbo people that they think. I have met some fantastic Yoruba people that think so I cannot say all Yoruba people are tribalistic. Of course, there are many of them, but they are not all tribalistic. I've, some, I've met some very, very annoying Igbo people, very, very irritating set of Igbo people. But there are still some very good ones that if you engage them in, if you engage them in a conversation, you'll be amazed at the type of rationalization they bring out. So when you begin to say Igbos are Gino brother of uh, Ijo, Ijo this, Ijo that, Biafra was Ijo, there's no, there's no finesse in your countenance. There's no demure in your behavior. It's just about theatrics and fist punching into the air, venting anger and all that. That is not the problem of Nigeria. I don't move by, by, 
by stage theatrics i am i am moved by people who identify the seriousness of nigeria and prefer solution based on a sane mind that, are, that can actually churn out thoughts useful thoughts so i really 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 think that we need people that are not tribal champions rather we should be searching for leaders that are regional champion which was why i voted for peter obi between peter obi atiku and tinubu who is more a regional leader who is talking about leading a region rather than leading a pride a tribe obviously it's not tinubu who said it's the turn of the yorubans it's certainly not atiku who said the not cannot vote for someone that is not a northerner so you can see where our problem our problem lies because i can remember boldly last year campaign campaigning where dokuba asari came out to say that um if the government does not do well we should hold him accountable we can also left pdp that he was i was supporting apc which is even against the law but because nigeria is a country that is not governed by any law they left him to do what they have to do imagine we can live in pdp to support somebody as apc and then the person now won and they're now expecting the person to now reward him though they they gave him a reward of being the SCT minister because I don't see any way that we could deserve that because we have shown to be a man that doesn't follow law or a man that's abusive because we have abused so many persons on the, in the public. You have abused um, people to Adelaide, you have abused, abused um, Amici, you have abused Fubara, you have abused um, Mr. Adelaide, that is Peter Adelaide's wife. You have abused many persons and you have threatened lives. He have destroyed so many properties and he's going to support because of what he's helped support and helped to and uh, we crown the APC the winner of the election. And now again, they're not, they're not talking against the government. I wonder why, what is happening? Because the same, the same Tungba said that, that um, Tinibu is my brother. I was about it, I was about it for my last break. I have come out also to talk against Tinibu. Then my question, what is now going on? What is going on on the ground? We don't know about it because it's, it's unusual that um, Tungba has come out and be exposing evil about um, Tinibu that he said that he's his brother. Then what is happening? What Who, who provoked who? And what is happening? And thank God that, that, that this, this man has explained a lot of things to us, to those that have watched it. Because it makes more sense to listen to that man. He, 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 he come down and explained everything that we need to know. Because yes, we all know that there are, there's a plan to, to Islamize Nigeria. The B have been passed in the Senate to Islamize Nigeria. Which, which I don't think is going to work because if it works, if they, if they allow this bill to pass, that means that we are in danger in this country. The country is finished because they will Islamize everybody, both Christianity, Muslim, everybody will be Islamized. And if they are, if they are not careful, that will that, that disposal plan. And thank God that man have come out to expose Dukuba Sari and Wiki and also blast the people's government. So I'll see you guys in my next video. I like you to hear your views about that. If this video watch in the comment section, if you are new here, subscribe. See you guys in my next video.